All right, so I'm out here. Where I've been staying at. That guy I told you about who opened up his house to me. For a little while. And, uh, got done riding my bike and doing some research for a uh, like one bedroom or like I don't know an apartment. I didn't get too much time because the library closed early today. It's a nice spot to chill for some Wi-Fi. Um, I'm kind of worn out. I've been riding my bike everywhere. I try to think of something good to say. I've been struggling today, it seems like, a little bit. I mean, like, as far as... the warring with myself, the flesh and the spirit. You know, I noticed once I got deeper into the uh, Bible, I read, uh, I think it was Roman, either Romans 7 or 8, and it explained a lot to me about how uh, our flesh and the spirit constantly battle, you know, and you find yourself doing things that you don't want to do because you know not only is it not what God would want you to do, but what you're doing is, you know, back to what I said, you can either do good things or bad things, and you're going to reap the benefits of either, you know, and when you're uh, doing the right thing, it's going to show for you. I can promise you that. So just don't do the bad thing at all. But you will. Because that's what we are. That's who we are. We were made that way. You know, since we came out, you know, of our moms, whatever the case may be. Somewhere in the Bible it says, um, mm -hmm. Be still and know that I am God. And, uh, you know, I see a lot of people, I see a lot of Christians, people that try to do the good thing and the right thing. I'm one of them. Who, um, hurting themselves, you know, and one of the things that helps me is that Bible verse that I just told you, um, you know, when somebody's being mean to you, the automatic response is be mean to them back, or, you know, just cower away. You know, you don't see too many people who actually smile at somebody who's being mean to them, you know. Give them a good smile, you know, like a, <laughs> you know, and then just walk away, you know. Just let them know that, you know, I'm happy right now, and that's how I want to be, because we have that power. We have that power within ourselves, you know. The kingdom of heaven is inside each and every one of us. Jesus Christ is the way to that kingdom. That holy word opens you up to a crap load of wisdom and knowledge and understanding of how life works. It's amazing. That's why I'm always reading it. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing now for whoever wants to see this. Um, it's also you know, the reason I'm 
the only reason that I'm not screwed up somewhere is because of God. And that's the truth. It really is. But I don't plan on having that the rest of my life. You know, I gotta get myself a retirement fund and, you know, settle down. I'm not really into all that other stupid law, toy, big cars with fancy rims. I mean, that's just a waste of money, man. People don't realize that they could be retired super early for that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, not only that, but it just adds to more strife and wrath in your life when you want to boast yourself up your car or whatever the case. Anyway, that's just me being on a whole different level than a lot of the other people that I see down here. It's a big town. Um, I don't have a problem with anybody. You know, everybody's going to do what they do, but when it comes down to it, they're going to strike a conversation with me and ask my input on the situation. I'm not going to lie to them. I'll be straight up with them. You know, I'm, I'm a good person. I'm not just going to lie to somebody because they're trying to look like a gangster. It's going to be super hard because, you know, some people, that's the only way that they know. You know, it's the only way that they know. They don't have people out there to help them and reach them in ways that they haven't seen yet. I'm just kind of rambling on, but I mean, I guess it's a good ramble, it really is, think about it, something you can share, you know, this knowledge of mine isn't, it isn't mine, it's from God, every perfect gift, a good gift, comes down from the Father's life, I think that's intended to one or two. I'm not sure. But it sounds really good. <laughs> and it's true. Because we have a lot of good things. But uh, that's how I see the situation right now. And if you would follow my finger, because I'm weird. Peace and love. Please read your Bible for at least 30 minutes a day. It will be. And if you contemplate, you know, treat yourself to contemplate how that's gonna affect you. You know, teach yourself to stop and think about, oh, what did that Bible say? Should I do that? I mean, if you can't handle that specific passage, go on to something else that fits you. It's about walking with Jesus. You know, Jesus had to start walking. You know what I'm saying? He didn't start and finish. He walked. You know what I'm saying? He went. He, people started to follow him. You know? <clears throat> you know the, the word is it's the word of God.